You've probably seen this image at some point in your life and wondered, how the hell did that happen? The Montparnasse derailment is perhaps one of the most infamous accidents in railway history. It occurred on the 22nd of October 1895 in Paris Montparnasse at around 4pm. The train was several minutes late and the driver was trying to make up for lost time. The guard was occupied with paperwork and failed to apply the carriage brakes, resulting in the train entering the station going between 25 and 37 miles an hour, and the air brakes fitted to the train failed to stop it, only slowing it. The buffers didn't stop it either, causing it to carve through the 98 foot of platform before crashing through the station wall where it fell roughly 33 feet into the street below. Despite the damage caused, out of the 131 passengers, drivers, fireman and guard, only one person died in the accident, a woman named Marie Augustine Alugard, who was killed by falling masonry while stood outside the platform. The driver and guard were fined and arrested for negligence. The railway company also settled with the family of Miss Alugard and arranged to pay for the education of her two young children, offering them jobs at the railway once they were old enough. The locomotive was eventually retrieved and put back into service, having sustained surprisingly little damage. The event is also referenced a lot in classical French novels and stories, such as The Invention of Hugo Cabret, which was adapted into the film Hugo, as well as the album covers of the albums Lean Into It and Scrabbling at the Lock. The photo is also used on the cover of the book, An Introduction to Error Analysis. So next time your train is late, understand that maybe it is better late and not driven through a brick wall. Subscribe for more.